Anneham Shigaroshi Tafarikamalam Shigarun Vaishnavam Shashi Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunatan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savad Hutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Tetan Nedevam Shri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Lalita Shivishna Khan Tamsha Narayam Pandit Prabhu I'll speak about him today as he's in a difficult situation. We're all in a difficult situation within the material world. We often appreciate devotees more either when they've passed away or they get into some difficult situation or when they leave us. So there was quite a steady flow of criticism of him when he was here. But uh, I always, when it came to me, I always supported him and said, well, see what service he's doing. He's personally completely dedicated to being Krishna conscious and fulfilling Prabhupada's desire of distributing Srila Prabhupada's books. He was you know, pretty strict, and but he got the job done. <laughs> what's better to be like super nice and nothing gets done or lenient or just uh, disciplined and do service of course if we can be have both things that's good but everyone can't be everything to everyone so he was doing a Yeoman service, as it said in Old English, very good service. And as I announced the other day, uh, when he arrived back in Croatia, he was arrested for crimes he had committed before taking to Krishna consciousness. He was a drug dealer, which is not good at all. But actually, the Croatian authorities, they made a crime by arresting him, although they don't know that. According to the law of Bhagavan, that one who takes to devotional service, whatever their past may be, we should not see the past of a Vaishnava. If we think that, well, these Vaishnavas, I, I, sometimes we, here devotees that oh they've come for, coming from a very good background and well all right but it, it doesn't really matter what very much what we did before we came to Krishna consciousness what matters is what we do after that whether if we're very pious and we take to Krishna consciousness it doesn't make us intrinsically better than someone who is impious and actually even the pious people we're all criminals in this material world everyone's a criminal. It's just that some are apparently better behaved than others. So we also know from Shastra there are many criminals and people of wretched background who became great devotees. Valmiki, the author of the Ramayana, is a... Oh, there are so many examples. Ajamil is well known. Rigari, the hunter. It's mentioned in Chaitanya Charitamrita. And what to speak of uh, all the fallen low people that Srila Prabhupada picked up, I and mean, almost literally picked up in the, in the Western world. Many of them, when I say almost literally, it means that many were uh, intoxicated a lot of the time. Prabhupada took them from that position to engage them in pure devotional service. So anyway, he's arrested and uh, we don't have any more news than that except devotees have tried to get permission to visit him. They have to wait for one month and then they can see him for one hour. So we don't know what the situation is much more. 
Uh, it's a very difficult situation and we may wonder why Krishna puts his devotees in such difficult situations. Well, one reason given by our Acharyas is that if devotees were not put in difficult situations and everything became nice for them, then everyone would take to devotional service not out of love for Krishna, but because just they want relief from material distress. It wouldn't be really be devotional service at all. Also, the qualities of a Vaishnava, they are demonstrated more in difficulty. We find in the Bhagavatam, we find the stories in Bhagavatam, Mahabharata, we find even the Ramayana, the story doesn't really get going until Ram gets banished. And then on top of that, there's Sita's being kidnapped. So we find Prahlad Maharaj, Ambarish Maharaj. We don't hear very much about what Ambarish, just Ambarish Maharaj. We, we find in summary what he was doing before the Rasamuni tested him. And that was pure devotional service. Savai Mana Krishna Pada Aravindaya. There's three verses which describe his devotional service. But it's how he accepted difficulty and demonstrated the character of a pure devotee. Prahlad Maharaj, he says that I, I've come to, oh, oh, I've come to this world to, or you have sent me to this world to exhibit the character of a pure devotee. So that's one of one of the uh, qualities of a devotee to show others also how to behave in difficulty. So when we're put in difficulty, we can remember the great devotees and uh, we f we tend to find our difficulties overwhelming but whatever our difficulties are we can always remember that our difficulties will never be as great as those as, of those as Prahlad Maharaj Haridash Tako Srila Prabhupada went through so many difficulties to establish this movement and Krishna has, must have some plan. It's a test for him, for Narayan Pandit Prabhu, no doubt. It's, it's, it's a horrible situation to be... It's maybe even... In one sense it's better for devotees, in another sense worse. Better in as much as Narayana parasarave nakutasyana bhibhyati svargapavaga narakesh vapitulyartha dashenaha a pure devotee, and as much as one has developed pure devotion, sees all situations as the same. He doesn't think heaven is better than hell or, or being liberated. Is, he just wants to see that where's the opportunity to serve Krishna. So in one sense, a devotee, because he knows this whole material world is just a big prison anyway, and because he's developed tolerance and because he's... Uh, not trying to take pleasure in this material world is tolerant of any situation, but the 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 actual difficulty, just like uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked Ramananda Rai, what is the worst or the greatest suffering in this world? And Ramananda Rai replied, that I don't see any suffering except separation from devotees. So that's, for, for a devotee being in prison is... Uh, different. It's a different kind of suffering. The, the cut off from devotees, you don't get prasadam. And you have all these people around you who are not talking about Krishna. But then it can also be an opportunity to preach Krishna consciousness. So, uh, we'll see what happens. What Krishna's plan is, it's... Uh, it's unfortunate we can say that uh, Narayan Pandit Prabhu was dedicated to distributing Srila Prabhupada's books and for some time in some way that will be uh, stopped. So these are the kind of obstacles that face the Sankirtan movement. Even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself when he was present in Navadeep, the uh, 
Well, it's actually the the Muslims were stopping the sankirtan, but they were they were being uh, they were being encouraged to do so by the local many local Hindus who didn't like the kirtan. So, even in the presence of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, there were the, the devotees they stop doing kirtan, some of them, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, go on, do it. Don't be afraid of the kazi. So, the material world means there are always tests and difficulties, and again, if uh, if it was so easy to spread Krishna consciousness, then what would be the meaning of preaching or serving the Sankirtan mission? Anyway, uh, it certainly gives us the chance to remember Narayan Pandit Prabhu more, to remember his qualities and to pray to Krishna to protect him in all respects and that he may be uh, released as soon as possible from this situation. If... Th- if the authorities there have any sense at all, they'll, I mean, even from the secular point of view, he sh- they should see that he's a reformed person. He's not a, a criminal anymore. And such persons, they, sh- they should be uh, active in society. They should be allowed to operate in society for the benefit of the broader society. All right, Hare Krishna. As I say, I'll just give a short talk every day. Does anyone have any question about this? You're asking if he's getting prasadam. Well, if you'd listened more carefully, you would have heard that I said we don't have any more news, that devotees can't contact him for another month. So it appears that he's not getting prasadam. Not offered to the deities anyway. What do I mean? He may be making some arrangement there, I don't know. It'll be difficult, no doubt. In England or America, where there's more consciousness of what they call human rights and there's more consciousness of vegetarianism, it's probably easier to arrange a vegetarian diet. Actually, they should make all the prisons all over the world vegetarian because meat's expensive, right? Why should they give the... Why should they give expensive food. <laughs> Will he have his clothing and books? I don't know. It's difficult to say. I'd, you you can't tell. A lot may depend on the uh, authority. Clothing, I think you have to wear standard prison clothing. I, I, I really can't say. I don't know what the what the rule is there or how it's how the individuals will enforce it. We don't know. There's no use to ask me. I don't know. After a month or so, we'll get some news. We hope. In the meantime, you can uh, remember him when you're going out and distributing books. Hare Krishna. Narayan Pandit Prabhu Ki Jai. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai.